When you arrive to Acolyte, find a robe that fits you. Usually you try to find one that goes down to about your calves. Then there's a little snap, one snap that snaps to a tab. That's on your left shoulder. Go ahead and snap that. And then there's a tie on the side. Sometimes those ties are missing, and if they are missing, that's okay. You can go without them. But if you have them, go ahead and tie them in a bow knot. Then there are two snaps that will go up on your right shoulder. They're on the outside, and you just have to find the snaps there. Go ahead and, and snap those. Then find a rope, a cincture. Uh, try to find one. If you're a big person, you need a longer one. If you're a smaller person, you need a shorter one. Divide it into half and wrap it around you. There is a diagram on the wall that you can follow. You just fold the loops back and make two loops and uh, make them a little bigger and then you can drop the uh, uh, the ends of the uh, other end of the rope through both loops and uh, that will tighten up and you'll be ready to go. Next you'll Get your candle lighter, or it may already be out and hanging up, and that's okay. If it is, you don't need it. Come out of the door. Make sure you close the door behind you, and come to the middle. Bow once at the first step. Bow again at the slate steps, and then go over to the bench. If you're the acolyte on that side, the uh, baptismal font side, then just hang up the uh, candle lighter and go ahead and be seated. At the end of the service, when the last hymn begins, get your candle lighter, come to the middle again, bow at the altar, then go ahead and put out the candle, starting with the candle on the right, then the candle in the middle, and then the candle on the left. Come back by the altar and bow. The other acolyte hopefully will be joining you and you can bow together and then both of you can go out like that. You only need to bow once on the way out. As you go through the door to the sacristy, just make sure that you close it behind you. If you're the acolyte on the pulpit side with the offering plates, you'll do the same thing. You'll come out, close the door. If both of the acolytes can come together, that's fine. They can walk out as a pair. One, uh, you'll both bow in the middle. One will go to the left and the other will go then to the right after bowing one more time in front of the altar and then going over to the bench. When it's time for the offering, after the announcements, go ahead and get the offering plates and bring them up to the middle. And you're going to meet the ushers. As soon as the ushers arrive, you can go ahead and just give them the plates. At the end of the offering, they'll bring the plates back. You can take them from the ushers, take them back to the table over there, set them on the table, and then just be seated on the bench. At the end of the service, while the other acolyte is putting out the candles, you can go up and uh, wait there at the middle for that acolyte, and then together bow, and only need to bow once, and then walk out together. If you're by yourself, then just go ahead and bow and walk out by yourself.